Today is Friday, so it is 11-6. Today we are going to learn about the cone. Um, yesterday we learned about pyramids, and we also learned about prisms a few days before. So yesterday you worked on a delta math for the past two days, just to basically refine your volume skills. Um, today we are only going to focus on the cone, and I promise you the cone is not that bad. A cone is a solid figure that is the union, which basically means the meeting, of a circular base and the surface created by a line segment as it moves about a circle from a fixed point above the base. So a cone basically is just like your little old ice cream cone. And the formula is one third BH to find your volume. However, every single cone's base is a circle. It's not a semicircle, it's a full circle. So we can actually go from volume equals one third BH to say something else. That's why you'll see if you look at the notes a little clearer, I have volume equals b, and then I have the pi r squared h there. So v equals one third b h. But if you look at my cone, my base is a circle. So my base area will always be the area of a circle. Always. So if I take this formula a little deeper, volume equals one third one third times my area of the circle, which is simply pi r squared. And then I multiply by my height. This is the cone formula. You should you write this at the top of your page. We'll not be doing v equals bh. We will be doing v equals one third pi r squared h. Okay, so that is all we're gonna be doing today. Um, just let's look at our cones so that way we can look at uh, some pieces. I'm going to erase everything I drew in this cone. This right here we call a right cone because there's a right angle. H is our height. So that means that H right now is perpendicular to R, meaning that it's a right cone. We then call L our lateral edge, sort of like a ladder, because it leans against our cone. Now we're gonna examine our oblique cone, which is a little different, it's just a slanted cone, but it's the exact same formula. The only difference, H is on the outside, so you typically use Pythag theorem to find your uh, height. Okay, let's dive into some examples. So we wanna find the volume in terms of pi, which means that we do not wanna type pi in our calculator. So the first step always is to write V equals one third BH. So I'm gonna zoom in. If you don't need to write the one third BH, that's fine. You can jump right into the one third pi r squared h. Because remember, my base is a circle, so I'm just using the area formula of a circle. So I look at my image, I still have my one third, I have my pi, and I look at my image and I see that my radius is a three, so I have to put that in for r. So three squared, and now I use my height of eight. I can type this right into my calculator. Remember, I don't type my pi, I just type in one third, three squared times eight. After typing that in my calculator, I get 24. So I get 24. V equals 24, and then I just write pi. And my units are centimeters cubed. And that is your final answer. That's a nice level one question, okay? Now we're gonna go on to this next example. We're not doing many examples today, we're just doing these two. Um, so we're just gonna do these two examples. For our next example, you're gonna see that your height's not given, so we have to find our height. So the first thing we do whenever we don't know our height is we need to find our height. I'll show you why we need to find our height. Let's start with our formula. So V equals one third BH. V equals one third pi R squared H because my base is a circle, so my area is a circle. 
I now do my substitution. V equals one third pi times five squared, because five is my radius. But here's the issue. I don't know my height. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use Pythag theorem to find my height, because this just becomes a right triangle. So remember, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So I have five squared plus h squared equals 13 squared. I just type that into my calculator and I get 25 plus h squared equals 169. I take away 25 from both sides and I get h squared equals 144. I now take the square root of both sides and I get h equals 12 because 12 times 12 is 144. I now can use this 12 in my formula. So I'm going to erase h and now substitute a 12. And again, we just type this into our calculator. We type 1 3rd times 5 squared times 12. And I get 100. So volume equals 100 pi centimeters cubed. So that is your lesson for today. We just found the volume of some cones. So here's what you need to know. Your volume formula for cone is one third BH, or you can just write one third pi R squared H. It is the exact same situation every single time. Occasionally you need to find your height. Occasionally you need to find your radius. Again, whenever you need to find your height or your radius, you just use the Pythag theorem and then plug it into your formula. Make sure you write your daily question and make sure you do your independent practice, which is due on Monday. The marking period ends next Friday. Make sure all missing assignments are in. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to email myself or Miss Kimmick. Remember, don't forget to write your daily question. Have a great day, ladies.